In 1903, the first airplane lifted off from the sands of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and flew. A century later, airlines carry more than 3.5 billion passengers every year. For the flying public, affordable air travel is great. Not so great are long, boring flights packed too tight with too little to do. Infuriating delays that ripple through the system. And occasionally, the terrifying moment when a plane goes missing. The air travel industry has an answer to all three problems, and the answer is satellite. Not long ago, an airplane was the one place where you could count on being offline. Then, in 2009, airlines began installing Wi-Fi. Passengers loved it, until they gave it a try. Those early systems connected to the ground directly, so they only worked over land. The high costs, slow speeds, and spotty coverage made it less like surfing and more like standing still. Then satellite got into the game and things began to improve. A new generation of satellites brought high-speed broadband into the cabin for everything from email and social media to online shopping. But it isn't easy to bring high-quality broadband to an airplane in flight. Planes travel so fast that they need to frequently cross between different satellite beams. The high speeds can also distort the data they receive. Panasonic Avionics Corporation is one of the world's leading providers of in-flight entertainment and connectivity. Panasonic is overcoming these challenges with the help of smart satellite technology from a Belgian company called NewTek. Together, they are delivering dramatically faster broadband solutions without interruptions between satellite beams. Special software predicts and corrects in advance for distortions to the data caused by speed. You can even watch live TV programs at the same time, from sports to news, over oceans as well as land. Entertainment and connectivity make flying more fun, but everybody's first priority is to reach their destination safely. Satellites help there too. When airplanes fly over land, air traffic controllers track them with radar. But two-thirds of our planet is covered with water. Once aircraft head out over the deep blue sea, they fly out of radar range. That makes them totally invisible. Fortunately, the same global satellite system called GPS that powers the maps on your phone also tells the pilot and flight crews where they are. When they pass an air traffic control station, they radio in their position. It all works well, until it doesn't. In 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 became the latest aircraft to disappear without a trace, taking 239 passengers with it. The days of invisibility, however, are almost over. Most commercial aircraft already have a system called ADS-B, which broadcasts the plane's position, altitude, and speed every few seconds. But like radar, it can only reach other planes and air traffic control centers on land. New satellite technology now makes it possible to receive signals from ADS-B anywhere, and that's launching a revolution in air travel. ADS-B is the first step in a plan called NextGen from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration and partner agencies around the world. Using a mix of ground and space radios, it's turning the air transport system into a gigantic network where each aircraft shares the job of air traffic control. Aircraft will fly closer together in safety and squeeze more landings and takeoffs into the same runways. They will fly shorter routes, use less fuel, and face fewer delays. If you fly often, you know the drill. The flight starts with a safety briefing about seat belts and life preservers, oxygen masks, and inflatable rafts. But they don't mention another critical safety feature, one that orbits high in the sky above you. It's the one that keeps you safe, entertained, and informed on the way to your destination. Satellite, the world's invisible, indispensable technology. Brought to you by the Space and Satellite Professionals International with support from NewTek.